Catwoman, issue 39. This is kind of interesting because it's the start of a new writer, new creative team. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. you know, we obviously were all on Ram V's run. And yep. this was kind of like, okay, Teeny Howard's taken over. Uh, and we also have la- art by s- someone who I-, I wish was named Neon, given some of the colouring in this book. <laughs> but it's not, it's Leon. <laughs> Nico Leon is the uh, name of the artist. Um, and speaking of the, the colours, because uh, you mentioned them, yeah. uh, Jody Belair on, on the I'm not surprised yeah. to hear it, because yeah. almost ev- like every other book we talk about seems to have colouring by Jody uh, Belair. I, I know we, we don't usually mention the colourists at that point. Yeah. The, you know, you usually it's when they come up, but you brought them up already. So Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, the art, the art is very good. Like, there's, yes. there's really not much you can fault in it's the gorgeous. art. It's very stylistic. Well, it's very... Because uh, the, the first chunk of it and then some bits later on take place in this nightclub so there's a lot of neons purples mm-hmm. and blues but then you get to some of the other stuff and you have like more muted colors or you have like, the the, the night lights of the city you get more natural skin tones that kind of thing yeah. some silhouette shots that um, are just downright gorgeous so, really good stuff so why why were you guys excited for teeny howard this is a name i'm not familiar with i wasn't, I wasn't necessarily oh. I, I was open to i've tried a couple of teeny gotcha. Howard things and never yeah. like Never, I've never. In fact, I I, I particularly dislike that uh, implication because I don't really like the writing that much in this issue. <laughs> okay. Well, no, I was, I was, I was going to ask because it, it felt like when when we were talking about like that last Catwoman issue, yeah, we're like, oh, we thought the Teeny Howard stuff was starting, but we got an extra Ram V. Um, I just felt like maybe this was someone that you were familiar with before. Oh, no, no. I, I you wanted to see their take about, on Catwoman. Okay, I'm relieved. I'd seen the preview. I feel the voice for Selena is super off. Um. And I like the family stuff, uh, like the five different families. But man, it's the storytelling is kind of a mess. Well, I my, my my one of my initial things that really struck me is that page that introduces all the all the crime families. Yeah. I'm like, that is too many boxes. You're trying yeah. to teach me about too many people in one page. This is too much. I I think yeah. I don't quite have the problem with the voice that matters or the storytelling. I think overall, I'm o- mostly into it. I do think it's overwritten though and yeah especially you know this page that you mentioned here with all the introductions and it's it's a little bit frustrating because i can think of the exact page that did this in ramby's run and i remember better. the page yeah. mm-hmm. it was that double page spread as it kind of walked through yeah. and it was fantastic uh because it, it was it, it wasn't even, it wasn't a splash it was a spread that kind of went back and forth across the page right. I, I remember it specifically yeah. and this here is not as good as that it's a lot clunkier yeah i mean basically like, i do think it's overwritten i do think it's clunkier just generally speaking there's too many narration boxes there's too mm-hmm. wordy at times uh there's also a character introduced in the middle of the issue that i just hate <laughs> I, I just, Thank you, me too there's a character in this ghost- i hate this character made me miss ghostmaker <laughs> and i don't like ghostmaker <laughs> i despise this character uh so i have no strong feelings on this character it's just, it's, he's, he's, exactly this, he's this type of character who's trying to impress the main the main character and i just i'm like i've seen this type of character in other things i don't like him every time this type of character shows up i usually hate their guts um and it just bugs me um and there's actually there's a moment so early on right so it's after they all sit down at the table and there's like the, the the there's a fifth one that comes up at the end obviously but there's four crane bosses here and one's a woman and mm-hmm. there's a moment where uh, one of the guys says, all right, gentlemen, right? And there's, a, there's an editor's note here. And it's an editor's oh. note that wants to point out that, like, okay, we know that there's, you know, uh, what's, the, what's the name here just so I can say who it is? Um, uh, Aiko. Aiko. Yeah. So we know Aiko's there. You know Aiko's there. Uh, but believe me, I've been in, in groups many a time where someone said gentlemen, even though I was there. And I was like, okay, that, that that's a fine message to get across. I have no problem with that. But my thought was, what would be much better as a comic book is to put in a panel of Aiko maybe giving them side eye when they say that to show that yeah. she's reacting to it, to, to show that it's mm-hmm. a, it's is, a is, oversight. Is that called show, don't tell? Yeah, because that, that, this wasn't even in dialogue, which would be one no. thing. This I, is... I think it, it doesn't even need a reaction because, like I said, you know, we know she's there. Yeah. They know she's there. Just having him make that conscious choice to say uh, anyway. this is like this is like if you're watching a movie and the movie pause for the director to say now everyone i want you to explain what this scene's doing <laughs> just in case you don't, don't get give it tarantino ideas please because <laughs> he will do it like that's what it felt like to me i'm like uh, shut up <laughs> just sh- yeah. show me it <laughs> but yeah uh, it was I, but see 
there are stuff I like. I do like all of these crime lords of Gotham and what you know different parts of the crime they they you know yeah, they I, represent. I, I, yeah, I have no problem um, conceptually with the idea of the, yeah. the four heads of the families uh, and then the fifth one being Black Mask Lair. Like that's all fine. Also, the um the stuff that references the history with with Aiko is um mm-hmm. it, assuming I'm remembering the character correctly, which I'm pretty sure I am is from the run towards the end of the New 52, the one that I say was, the, you know, before Ram V, the last good Catwoman stuff that I enjoyed. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's from that, and that was, again, dealing with a lot of crime family stuff. So this kind of feels like a okay. like a, a spiritual sequel cool. to that run, which I really enjoyed. Yeah. So I'm kind of think... a little bit more in on premise, I think, at the start of this. I'll, I'll have to look that one up, because I like... That's the aspect of this book I like. Once we start getting into the Thieves Guild Club BS with this cat that she has no, to yeah, keep. No, there's none of that in that book. That I was don't... like, it's only two or three trades long, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's where it lost me. Yeah, basically um, she, she she moves into like a, an abandoned apartment on the top of this like fancy building that was ba- it's basically just derelict because there was some, there was like a shootout or something and it's, it's been sort of closed off and just sitting there and so on. And she moves in and this fancy ass cat shows up and she's she sniffs out the, the cologne and there's someone out there who's dropped this off. And we get this character who, as soon as I saw <laughs> this character, I'm like, okay, I hate this guy's guts. I just know yeah. I do. Um, and then his entire thing is like, oh, I'm a fan of your work and blah, blah, blah. Um, like, I just, I hate his dialogue. I hate his personality. <laughs> I, I just, I hate this. This is um, like in a spy story. The, the, the counter spy who starts like flirting with the main character. And I hate yeah, it. Not- Maybe that's why I don't hate this as much. Because that's probably no, 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 but- like, you can still do that. I felt like in, in Grayson, they did it well. They did. Yeah. You know, but here I don't, it's so clean. I hated reading his dialogue. Like, I'm there was not, so much of it. I'm not going to defend it because like I said, yeah. I think it's overwritten. I don't, I don't like this character. I'm not like, I'm not defending at all. This is a good character. I just, I just didn't hate Well, the, the problem is, it's not just that I hate the character. I hate all the plot threads that it, it, this could be going to because of this character. Because uh, he, he leaves with that case at the end with stuff. This is going to be a relationship that evolves throughout this this arc. He's on the cover of the solicit from this week. Yeah, uh, I get. Like I, said, I, I don't. I don't hate those threads inherently. Yeah. The, the the less the least exciting aspect of the book, I will absolutely agree with. But I don't. It, it's think... a shame because when Black Mass like storms in, and says, "Yeah, I'm the fifth family member. I'm going to shoot you with my Tommy gun." Like. I'm like, okay, I could get into the fun of this. I could get into... It's so stupid, it works. <laughs> it's like, very Black Mask. It's yeah, very Black Mask. That's why I love Black Mask as a character, because he's a psychopath that just does whatever he wants. Yeah. You know? yeah. Um, that part I can yeah. totally get into, yeah. but everything else... I mean, you combine, <laughs> you combine this character in the Thieves Guild with the yeah. overwriting, which I, I thought made it a bit of a chore to get through it, but even though the art is really nice, like almost yeah, the it, whole time. Um, and let me just say real quick before we move from Black Mask, his opening line is Catwoman at my favorite nudie bar. This is 100% <laughs> you and McGregor Black Mask. Yeah, that's, yeah. Like, um, this is exactly that version that they've gone, we're just yeah. writing him for, for you. And yeah. That's that's not why I got, I didn't hear that at all, but sure. Well, you're wrong. But yeah, I, so all that stuff, and then again, which I didn't realize until flipping back through this, the, the case that he gives her at the end, that guy that we don't like, is all the weapons that they're introduced with at the beginning, the five families. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I didn't realize that because I got so distracted by all of the writing. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Anyway. I mean, it looks gorgeous, uh, but like yes. I, I, I'm pretty safely out, to be honest. Like, this, like, yeah. I gave it a chance, this new run, but like I did not like the writing. The, the best thing is, is that this has a tie to that arc that, or that run that Connor talks yeah. about. I'm completely blind. Um, I want to see the writers could like. I, I uh, pull it up. It's, something it's, Valentine. It's it's Valentine and Gary Brown. Um, so, so good. I'm gonna have to look look for that yeah. now. Save my I shop. Just, but I I really can't emphasize enough just how much like a- any chance this book I had to hold of me went away with that character mm-hmm. in the middle and they're kind of like you know like back and forth on the rooftop and even the little joke about you realize Batman's not here if I like kick you off the roof and just like. Okay, not for me. I don't like him. I can move on with my life. Yeah, he's like a shitty version of Ghostmaker. Yeah, and I don't like Ghostmaker, so that says a lot. I know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So, Matt, what are you, what are you giving a Catwoman? Uh, six. Connor? I 
think I'm gonna give it a generous seven. Oh. With the, the the caveat being that it is very overwritten and it, it it it's not that deserving, but the general vibe and just the phenomenal art are kind of pulling it up like a point and a half, probably. Yeah, I'm just gonna straight five. Uh, obviously the art's great, but I hate that character. <laughs> I like mm-hmm. I have never like taken a disdain to a character as quickly in a comic book. I think as as much as this guy. <laughs> As this crowd, it's like Ghost Maker like screwed Zorro when this thing pops just, out. What is it? I'm not, I'm not a defender of this character. I I, I just didn't <laughs> expect this visceral reaction to it. Like, this is just there. Yeah, but there's going to be more of them. That's the problem. There's going to be more of them, <laughs> and I can't get on board with that. I just can't. I tell you what, I do think this run needs beyond fixing the other problems that we've just yeah. mentioned. Kate Man. I mean, oh, everyone yeah. needs that, but a different outfit. I, I've yeah. enjoyed this Catwoman outfit. I think it's been solid under Joel Jones and kind of that style and, and what we had under Rambi. I think for this style of art, it needs something a bit more, a little bit sleeker, maybe a bit more one piece, uh, you know, going back into the, the cat suit as opposed to the the fragmented pieces. I think it yeah. sticks out a bit more, more. And I think, you know, this, this style of art would benefit more from a, a one piece suit. Thank you.